Hi everyone, welcome to this introduction to SQL uh, video. I'm going to introduce you to uh, SQL, Structured Query Language, or SQL as we might call it, uh, with this online tool, sqlightonline.com, which is probably one of the quickest and easiest ways to get started with uh, using SQL in your browser. So when you go to sqlightonline.com, uh, you'll be presented with this screen on the SQLite section on the menu. You will see an existing table called demo, which has some data already in it. So we have some columns here, ID, name, and hint, and there's some data here. But what we're going to do is create our own table and start running some basic queries. A good point about uh, this tool is you can actually import a CSV and it'll create a table for you. So we'll take that lazy route just to start with. So if we click on import and open our file. So I've got this player.csv file. Uh, it does have column names in the CSV file. So I am going to specify that that's in the first line. So you can see a preview of the data that's going to be imported here. So we can see we've got the column names and then the data. In this example, we can leave all the other settings the same. If we go OK, and we can see here that it's created a player table with all these columns. And we have just we'll update the select. Well, let's let's use a shortcut from this tool. So if you right click on player, you can run a select query. And that's changed the query here. This is where we write our SQL, and you can see down here that this is showing our data. So this is in itself a fully fledged mini database, but a SQL-like database. Now you can download this to work offline if you wish. So you can go save uh, DB, and then you can save that to your desktop, like so. So that's what it will look like here. The reason we want to download uh, the database is if we want to use it again. The problem with this online tool is that if you refresh the page, so we'll refresh, uh, you can actually see that what we've already created has disappeared. So when we're working on this in the browser, it's just temporary. It's on a session basis. So if you do want to store what you're doing, you need to download it. So this is just a playground. Okay, so it's important remembering. If you're going to do loads of work here, here, just be careful and make sure you back up your work if you want to keep it. So using the file, save DB. Uh, we can hopefully, if we use the file open DB, we will select the database we downloaded, and we can see that actually that's restored the uh, the table and the data that we created. Let's now run our first uh, custom queries uh, on this table in our database. So the first one we're going to try is selecting a subset of the columns. So this default query here, select all, compare, returns all of the columns and all of the data. We are going to try this instead. So we're going to just select the player name and the date of birth. So let's uh, run that. And we've hit run. This is a nice feature here on this tool that you get the history of queries uh, appear on the right hand side. So you can actually go back and run and them again. So select all from player. We've got this one as well. We can run that. You can hit the edit button and it will uh, load it up into here. And you can actually have multiple tabs. So recapping what this query has done, it has just returned the two columns that we want. So in large databases, large tables, many columns, this might be useful if we just want to restrict the data that we're getting back. It can help with performance uh, and also from the point of view of only getting the data that you need, which is a good kind of fundamental principle. Let's try another one. So select town from player and we'll run that. So we just get a list of towns. But what you'll notice here is that there's some repetition. And that's because there are players, multiple players from the same towns. But we can customize this query or this query by adding a distinct 
keyword. And if we run that, you can see now the distinct keyword has only returned a single unique value for each. So we have a, a list of distinct values, which is uh, maybe potentially useful in some use cases. So we'll leave it there. That's a, a very brief intro to running some basic SQL queries on a SQLite database on SQLite online and dot com. Uh, remember to uh, back up or save your DB if you want to keep it and, and reload it. Remember that if the browser refreshes, uh, you, will, you will lose your work if you haven't backed it up. Have fun playing with SQL. <laughs>